right. Hello, everybody. It is uh, Monday, December 19th. We're getting close to Christmas. Happy holidays, everybody. Um, a big question, uh, one of the most common questions I get, especially when I'm helping people with their nutrition and their, their diet, is do I need supplements? And that's a tough one. That's a, a, it's a pretty loaded question, and here's my thoughts on if we need supplements or not. Um, like always, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, I am studying to be a nutritionist. And this is Anthony Stewart, this is Food for Thoughts. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on supplements and what I do. Um, on my diet and how I how I go about uh, figuring out what what to do. Um, first and foremost, I think uh, supplements are lost meaning. Basically, I think because of our pill first, drug first mentality, that's like you know when something's wrong, we go get a pill for that. We kind of carry that over into the the health food nutrition space. And my firm belief is food should be essential. Like it's number one. So if you're getting, if you're eating a proper human diet and you're getting all the nutrition you need from your diet, then supplements are kind of moot, right? But um, there's a lot, of, a, lot of no, a lot of people talking about electrolytes and some people supplement electrolyte drinks. I think it has a lot to do with what your activity level is. And not to mention, here's my take on it is Back in the day, way back when, our water came from natural sources, streams and rivers. Um, there was natural minerals flowing through our water that we were drinking. Nowadays, with filtration and modern technology, um, you know, there's, there's some arguments there to say our, our water is not mineralized. So I do believe you should be drinking mineral water, um, spring water, natural source water, if you can. I'm, I know everybody's different and, and some people aren't able to do that. Now, I don't know where your, what your area is, how your drinking water is, how your tap water is. That's a whole other video. Um, but I don't drink the tap water, even though technically, apparently, we have a pristine water source here in British Columbia in Canada. Um, I still try and drink spring water. Um, the idea behind that is to have as many minerals in the water as possible because... It's kind of like that theory. If you, if you drink distilled water all the time, it's gonna it's gonna chelate the minerals out of you. Now, one problem I have with the school I'm in, and I've I've mentioned before that you know I, I have some issues with what I'm learning, is they're on the same path about pill first. So you have gut issues, you you take a probiotic or you you know you you supplement, but I I do believe we should be getting our food now. I'm not able to eat grass finished, grass fed, grass finished beef all the time. So I have a mixed, you know, bag of suppliers where I, where I get my meat. So first and foremost, it is a fact. Our soil is depleted of minerals. When animals eat whatever, if, if that soil hasn't, has been treated with something or, you know, it's possible that, you know, they're lacking minerals too. So if the, if I eat grass finished, grass, grass fed, grass finished beef, and like I've ordered my cow from a farm that my minerals change if I'm ordered if I'm eating you know normal beef where I don't know really where it's came from um, I kind of have this thought of you know just covering my own ass and and it goes like this so it's starting with electrolytes I mean salt is pretty vital in our in our uh, in our lives it, uh, so many functions rely on sodium and, you know, if you go to the doctor and, you, you know, something about hypertension, you go on a low salt diet, I don't know, they're, they're, those are other thoughts I have. But I think sodium, when you understand the sodium potassium pump in your cells about exchanging energy and letting your cells absorb energy, sodium is vital to human health. So I salt liberally. That's how I do it. Um, once in a while in the mornings, I'll pinch a little sea salt in a glass of water. First thing I do. Um, if I drink more plant juice, coffee, I will up my sodium intake because you know that it's a diuretic and you know, so that it's, it gets a little complicated. I just salt liberally. That's my, my take on it. Now, potassium, I take these little guys. Why? Well, if you look online or you look at the RDA, it says, you know, 4,700 milligrams is what we need for potassium. And there's, there's some channels and some people that will say that's 7 to 10 cups of vegetables a day. 
equivalent. Now, when you're eating a carnivore diet, I do believe our gut works a, lo a little better. So if you're eating a bunch of plants and fiber, how much of that is getting digested and absorbed? That's probably a, a good way to look at it. So that changes when you're just eating meat. Your potassium levels probably you need less. It's kind of like the vitamin C thing where, you know, um, I don't eat any exogenous vitamin C for the most part. Once in a while, I have some sauerkraut once in a while. I haven't had it for like over three months, but the potassium levels are something to play around with. Now you can get an electrolyte drink and I do believe potassium from what I, from all the research I've done is if you're, if you're functioning properly, if your body's healthy and you're, you're doing well, overloading potassium probably wouldn't, won't be a big deal. Um, there's, there's some tricky stuff with blood work too. Cause like a lot of it, potassium is in the cell. Sodium is outside the cell and they work together to do a, a little pump. Now, when you go get your blood tested from what I've, what I've heard, and remember, this is just my opinion and these are my thoughts. So when you go get a blood test and they say you have high potassium, that's potassium in your blood. They can't test the cellular potassium. So it can be a little tricky. So a lot of people are scared of it. Um, you know, obviously consult with your doctor if you have, a, have an issue. I used to take 10, which are 99 milligrams, so about a gram of potassium extra a day. When I'm physically active, I might take 10, depending on how I've eaten, what food I've, I've consumed, if I'm um, longer fasting, depending. So um, salt, potassium, and magnesium. I take magnesium, why? Because it's 100% it's proof the magnesium is depleting in all of our all over the plant world. So how much magnesium we need compared to how much magnesium is in the food that we eat is very subjective. So I am covering my own ass by, I take magnesium malate, why? Because there's also studies about when you go to the gym and you get like delayed onset muscle soreness, the malate, the magnesium malate, that chelation of, of magnesium tends, is apparently good for muscle soreness, even though I don't get sore. So I take one magnesium before I go to bed and I take five, usually five potassium when I wake up if I'm not eating grass-fed, grass-finished beef. So it changes everything with the context of my diet. Now, I do have liver pills, and as you can see, I eat raw liver once every couple months in, in proportion. I try and keep it proportioned to the animal, but I do have liver pills, and I used to take them every day. I don't anymore, so they just sort of, once in a while, I'll take six liver pills, and it's more just to to kind of um, make sure I'm getting the, the B vitamins and the, and the, I mean, I know I'm getting enough zinc. I know I'm getting enough iron. Um, I eat oysters for my zinc, but that doesn't mean that I have, I have zinc, I have vitamin D, and, and I have NAC, and acetylcysteine. Why? Well, all the, all the noise, all the stuff about the viral problem that we've had, um, it's just a good idea. I have it. Um, I live above the 49th parallel, not, no sunshine in the wintertime. So I, I, my thoughts are when I've looked into vitamin D, documented history of vitamin D toxicity is rare, rare, rare. So they were giving um, 100,000 IUs to patients with no problems, uh, like acutely. So as long as you're not overloading supplemental vitamin D to the point of toxicity, I think it should be fine, but I just keep it because there's no sun. I get, I get, you know, I take vitamin D once every few days. And if I were to have a viral problem, I would up my dosage on vitamin D. So that's where I'm, I'm at with supplements. I do have MCT oil and I use it like fuel. So if I'm going to have coffee and I'm going to do a strenuous workout or work, I will put butter in my coffee and a little shot of MCT oil, exogenous ketones. It works. I've tested my ketone levels where it's gone up by about 0.2. So, and the MCT oil is fast acting and it's kind of like uh, quick burning fuel, quick burning fat fuel, so to speak. So once in a while, I'll do that. I used to take apple cider vinegar every day, every night. I don't anymore because I feel my gut is strong enough. We're, we've got it, our acidity levels, are good and 
I think apple cider vinegar is a very valuable tool to people that are trying to control their blood sugar. And it depends on where you're at with your, if you're not able to digest because of stomach acid, you know, it might be a good idea to take apple cider vinegar. So definitely not opposed to it. And it all depends on where you're at. So that's my take on supplements. It's everybody's different. And these are my thoughts. These are my, my opinions. And this is why I, instead of taking an electrolyte drink, I kind of supplement with the electrolytes throughout the day. I always carry around salt. So when I'm dehydrated from a, like a workout or at work a, all day in the hot sun, I'll add some salt to water and it tends to be, tends to work well for me. I don't cramp. If I do cramp, if I do get, start to feel a little sluggish on my muscles and, and it happens, that's when I go through the gauntlet. I, I will add salt, take more potassium and then magnesium. And usually it works quickly. So if I feel like I'm starting to like, you can sort of feel like maybe starting to cramp. That's when I'll do that. So I hope that helps people. Um, if you need to, um, if you need some questions, if you have some questions or you, you need my help, please comment below and let me know what supplements you take and you know how you're doing. All right, everybody stay strong.